起きないかしょうがないな。This, be... This is a crime? This is a crime. This is a crime. Alright, guys, time for another episode of Jobless Reincarnation, and today is episode 6, and this one is called A Day Off in Roa. So, as we saw last week, episode 5, Rudy has been sent off to Paul's cousin's place to educate and uh, train Eris, and she's a, a feisty little girl who isn't very nice. She beat up Rudy two minutes after meeting him, and he had to kind of figure out a way to get through to her, so why not have a kidnap plan? Turns out the kidnap plan was overheard by somebody else, so it turned out to be a real kidnap plan, and then the kids were actually in danger but Rudy ended up kind of saving the day with the help of um the beast lady what's her name you know who I mean Paul banged her too because Paul bad man so anyway um they're kind of on friendly terms Rudy can start the uh the education uh, but it looks like they got a day off first so why not all right well, let's go hey guys so check out my patreon link down below with all my socials so come say hi don't forget like and subscribe and I'm sorry I keep forgetting their names. It's my job. Politically and physically, right. So the grey rats can be targets. Do not kidnap my... Ghislaine. 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 Don't kidnap my daughter again. Yeah, Ghislaine was a badass. She swooped in, saved the day. A, uh, she's a sword king. And she's also your auntie. She's your auntie, dude. <laughs> man, you just stared at her boobies. Eyes up here, man. Are you trying to lie to me, boy? Just take the compliment and say thank you. Oh, oh boy, he's a handful. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can see where his daughter got her personality from. Yeah, well said. Be forthright. Brash. Get your ass down here. That's... okay. Loud. Ask for it your damn self. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. What a guy. You want to talk, man. Holy shit, yeah. What? That, what? That's one way. Oh. Meow. She's imitating the, the beast kin, the cat lady. What the heck? Most people are out of touch with the, everything. <laughs> so the, the beast kin, animal people with ears and tails. Kind of like Hollow. Hollow would fit in here. From Spice and Wolf. I'm sorry, I'm just. Knowledge bombs. You're welcome. Uh, um. Yeah, she, she's. She. Isn't she cold? I'm just. Saying, just stop observation. So he's learning sword skills and he's going to teach Eris magic. Are we going to end up liking her soon? Because right now she's, oh, she's a, a, a yeah, she's, she's a nice a kid. She's a kid, takes after her grandfather. She's mimicking, mimicking a lot of his traits. Maybe she'll turn into a lovely, sweet person. I love the titles. Jobless Reincarnation. It just magically appears on screen. It's very nice. Look, I'm burning the house down. <laughs> oh, let's do that outside. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so she's dumb. You're gonna get assaulted? Wait, don't, dude. What are you doing? Don't, please. Dude. Oh, you're going to get punched and you deserve it. It's disturbing because he's a 40-year-old man and she's a little girl. Oh, my God. This, to be, this is a crime? This is a crime. This is a crime. Yep. KO that, KO that motherfucker. Yep. Um, 
Hundred percent. Punch him in the balls. Yep. He had that one coming. You're being a perv. Yep, I'm on her side. Managing errors? Keep your hands off her for one thing, you little fucking prick. Jesus. Oh, bye, crikey. She ate monster shit? So this is why math is important. <laughs> she ate monster shit. <laughs> I don't want to eat shit ever again. <laughs> you can do it, Aris. <laughs> What's <laughs> well done. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yep. That's for all future indiscretions that he might might perform on her. Future beatings. I want to beat you again. <laughs> no, you're a little perv. It has its troublesome elements, 100%, but it's still friggin' engaging and charming. It's conflicting me. <laughs> you can't even blame Paul, like Rudy's behavior on Paul because Rudy is already a grown-ass man in a child's body. So Paul can't keep it in his pants, but he's not really a deviant. Whereas Rudy's going into deviant behavior and being a little criminal. Oh, we've got psycho music going on. What's, ha what's happening? Yes. Stand away. Bottle about to explode. Yep. She hasn't had a day off in months. They need a day off in Roa. That's the name of the episode. It's a large city. Beautiful streets, magnificent ramparts. Don't do that. What is he doing to the wall? That man, what is wrong with you, kid? <laughs> Oktoberfest. Hooray. Wheels of cheese, tomatoes, stew. Oh, now I'm hungry. What? What is that? Wine stopper. Prized medicine. What? Oh my god, dude, what? No! Oh my! <laughs> Killian's doing it too. No, she didn't. She, no, she didn't. Don't, no. Don't mislead her. Don't be a yes man. Excuse me, young sir. You want to buy your your drug? Your roofie drug? I hope he didn't. I hope he didn't. Oh, get an, I'll get an allowance. Oh, her hair went up. Right, he's got morals about money and finances, but when it comes to violating young ladies' unconscious bodies, no problem. What is... what? What? What is that? What is that? The fuck? No, what is going on? It's a flying fortress. Armored Dragon King. A super evil guy that tried to wipe out humans. In every movie you've ever seen. It's been flying in the sky for 400 years. Yeah, people are still there. And are we going to go there someday? I vote yes. Oh, he didn't. He did. She bought it? Oh, God. Oh, no. He, he pocketed that really fast. Changing the subject. What is the medicine for? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, not yet. Good. 
You bad, bad man. Aphrodisiac. <laughs> Chip, oh boy. Yep. Oh, crikey, man. Oh my god. Well, man, I'm, I'm glad it spilled on the floor, but jeez, it's not going to stop his perverted little mind anyway. Rudy is officially Eris's tutor, but she doesn't want to learn anything but magic. As Rudy struggles to get her interested in other subjects, he realizes that non-stop lessons are causing her stress and proposes a day off in the city. Well, no shit, man. Everybody needs a day off. I feel like most people are hating this scene, and it's the scene when she was, when Eris was asleep and he was like pulling her panties down. And this is from a comment in the, in the, in the, in the threads. I feel like, I feel like most people are hating this scene more than actually, than they should actually. Oh my god. I feel like people are hating this scene more than they actually should. Where we need to remember that Rudius was a fat, ugly, horny perv. His character traits don't just magically change or disappear because he's reborn. This scene was a necessary, edgy reminder of that. It's called good writing. Because that's by far that's what's setting this anime that's what's setting this anime apart from most it's okay i haven't got my glasses on shut up if you didn't find it funny that's okay if you hated the scene sure that's okay too but don't discredit this anime just because of this scenario so yeah obviously it's been well established that the character rudy is a troubled character the 40 year old recluse who uh, was um, like a bit of a perv in his little dwelling, died, got hit by a truck, reborn as Rudy is. So yeah, his personality hasn't changed, but he's got a, a new start on life. So he's definitely bringing those old character traits back with him. 40-year-old perv stuck in the body of a 10-year-old boy. So he's doing some really kind of gross stuff. I don't know how far he would have got with, with Eris in that scene, but he was about to pull her pants down. What I got more concerned about was the fact that he was going to roofie her and then possibly do whatever. But it's, yeah, it's it, it's still got its troublesome elements, but it is good writing. It is entertaining. I do like the characters for the most part. They're charming. Rudy is interesting, but he do, he, he is he's doing things I don't like. Obviously, any decent person would be like, wow, that's really awful what he's doing. Like, she was an unconscious girl. He was about to strip her naked, take advantage. So, never okay. It was, like, like I said, he was committing a crime. Taking a troubled character, making them interesting, throwing them into a new world, and seeing how they react. The whole reincarnation angle, how would a normal person react if they had their full mental capacity, all their memories, come back in the body of a newborn child and have that personality retained. So it's definitely exploring a, a darker path and is doing it well. I mean, it's beautifully animated. It's an interesting story. I'm not actively hating on the show, although I am disturbed by the character. So there's that. Please, guys, comment down below. I want to hear what you thought about it. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching.